All right, boys, let's continue right where we left off. Find out what the hell is going on here. Oh, uh, oh, that over, okay. All right, let's go. Well, oh, maybe, all right, there we go. Oh, I'm not in control. Oh no. You absolute oh. idiot. Don't hurt her. <laughs> Lara Croft. Probably didn't call her Lara. This isn't the way I hope we meet. You know I've been interested in Trinity always is. <laughs> the key of Sasha. I've sacrificed my life for this. Where's the silver box of Isha? It's in a safe place. You don't have it. It never occurred to me that you would just take it. With this key and the silver box, we can remake the world. Without weakness, cruelty. And certainly with none of this. But without the box. The apocalypse. The death of the sun. You're lying. Lara. You felt it when you took the key. Tremors are common. A tsunami is coming. And this is the first of many catastrophes you're doing! You would have done the same! <sighs> God. Yeah. By taking the key, you set the apocalypse in motion. Do you realize the tragedy you have unleashed? The cleansing has begun. To me now. Stop it before it consumes us all. Wait, so then I was right about the mural, but. Oh shit! Oh sh. Oh! Oh, yeah, you better up, up. Mm. Oh my god. So, Laura, you absolute idiot, you jumped the gun. Oh my god. Well, I didn't realize I was supposed to move. I was like, am I gonna like get climb on that thing? Oh. That's my bad, I didn't realize I was supposed to move. left jeez Laura what is wrong with you oh jeez uh oh uh oh let's go right let's go right oh wow Laura you just destroyed what was probably a centuries old town Oh no. Oh jeez. Laura, 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 Laura. Okay. Oh, thank God we didn't get pinned. Laura, oh you absolute idiot. Oh, look at all these people. Oh, 
I almost missed that air bubble, I'm not gonna lie. Come on. Got it. Go, Laura. Go for the bus. Or truck. Van, box truck, whatever you want to call it. Oh, you idiot. I'm just waiting for her to cut her leg on a freaking rusty chunk of metal. The irony of Trinity not being responsible for this and actually seeming like the good guys. What the hell are. Oh, jeez. So apparently when you jump for one of the light poles, you need to actually make sure you can catch the pole part, not the part that has the bulb on it. Because she won't grab for a bulb. Okay. Yeah, right here, right here. There we go. Okay. At least we'll still have our axes. Oh, jeez. Recipe for disaster. Survive the flood. Got another achievement. What is wrong with you? What? Why? How did? Why? What? Why did you fall? Why have I died so many times? Okay. Okay. God, these buildings were so beautiful. This is such a beautiful town. Come on, buddy. Hang on, buddy. Hang on, buddy. Hang on. No, buddy. Oh, my God. Laura. Laura, sweetheart, you're directly responsible for this shit. What is wrong with you? Oh, my God. And Mom was gone, too, because of the fire. You, you realize you're going to have to fix this, right, Laura? These people get to safety, and then we'll go after the box. No, no one is safe! Not if he gets the box first! I have to go! I'm the only one! You're the only one that can what? You don't know that you caused all this, Laura! Not everything is about you! These people need us here. We can do good now! Besides, what do we gotta go on? A riddle? We're going to need more than pink fish and silver crowns to get to the hidden city. I'm going to help these people. And then we'll find us a plan. Sorry, sorry, but you had that coming. You fucked up pretty bad. Amazon River, Peru.
think we're looking for a volcanic mountain. The crown of silver is probably a band of clouds. I just can't get those people back there out of my head. They lost everything. The riddle says, chase the heart of the serpent to the silver crown mountain where the twins confer. I wonder what the twins are. This storm looks like bad news. It's just a little rain. We'll concentrate on the cloudy mountain. Cloudy mountain. If we find it, how do we know we have the right one? Gut feeling? It's our only clue. The mural says there'll be more disasters. The best way we can help them is to put a stop to it and Trinity. Okay. But how do we really know? Jonah, what I felt when I took the dagger. You mean the tremors of the tsunami? More than that. It felt like I woke something up. I know that it's not practical. I know that it's hard to believe, but you need to trust me. We have to trust each other. What she doesn't seem to understand is that he's always trusted her, but it's never been hey, a two-way road. I might have something over here. Really? That's it. I don't like this storm. Should we come back in the morning? We're so close. I guess a little turbulence wouldn't stop Trinity either. Miguel, is there anywhere to land? Yeah, I can put you down near Kuak Jaku. Let's go. What the hell was that? Oh my god, that was hell. What are you doing? And here's the opening scene. Was this how she got into that crevasse? Oh wow. There's basically nothing left of that thing. All right, boys. Rough landing. Look for survivors. Well, I think our buddy's dead. Dr. Pedro Dominguez is an archaeologist and expert in pre-colonial Maya history. My father mentioned him in his notes more than once. That's the lead Jonah and I were following up on when we came to Cozumel. His excavation in Cozumel was one of the last places my father visited before he was killed. If there is a connection, I want to find out what it is. I thought that Dr. Dominguez was only the leader of the local Trinity cell. I never imagined that he would turn out to be the leader of the High Council of Trinity. Okay, so that man, it, he does have uh, a lot of pull, sway, whatever you want to call it. Green space games. Okay. And there's monkeys everywhere. There's so much life. 
Holy crap. Whoa. The Silver Crown Mountain. I'm getting closer. Someone's over there. I have to get to them. Hey, towards the flare. We are not about to go through the trees. You're insane if you think we're about to go through the trees. Oh my god, Laura. What is wrong with you? Okay. You really think we're going to make that? Oh my god, you're insane, woman. Oh, it's a base camp. Someone must be around. Hello? Jonah? Miguel? Can you hear me? Where are you? Thank you, Jeff. The monogram reads PHF. That has to stand for Percival Harrison Fawcett. Don't know who that is. But I have a weird feeling that we're going to eventually learn about him. A flight log book. This is the flight log from our plane. Miguel made notes about the long-term weather forecast. Warm, hot, and dry for the next three days. Highs in the low 30s. Mostly clear skies with nothing but light rain expected. Based on his other entries, if Miguel had thought the chances of a severe storm were better than half, he wouldn't have flown us at all. But there was no storm predicted, let alone something serious. Dun dun dun. Okay. Time for base camp. I'll see you guys in a minute. I'll see you boys in a minute. So hard. Oh. This is all my fault. I should have listened to Jonah, thought it through. I never should have taken that dagger. I hope no one else was hurt. No other village destroyed. I need to stop these cataclysms before it's too late. Hard was. Let us continue. Part of the plane landed here. My gear is in that cargo. I'll need to cut it down. Find a cold cut your gear down. Might be a sharp piece of scrap in that section of the wreck. There we go. Good job. You just knocked the Damn whole it. thing. Something I gotta die for it. I gotta die for it, don't I? God damn it. Damn it, Laura. Alright. Really? Got him. Get the hell out of here, stupid eel. Alright. Nice. Cut it down, damn it. Oh, I said the wrong button. Good, but it's dull. I need to find something to sharpen it. Let's salvage the sharpened knife. Cusco belongs to Hernando Pizarro, rightful representative of the Spanish crown. Diego de Almagro has been captured. Rodrigo Orgones is dead, and the rest of their heretic forces routed. We made a crossing over the mountains and appeared on the coast outside of Cusco. Orgones marched to meet us at Cachupampa, a poor choice for his cavalry. His falconets threw Gonzalo's infantry charge into disorder but the swampy ground prevented his seasoned cavaliers from true advantage. Our imperial arquebusier breached the river and unleashed hellfire on the opposition. Pizarro and Orgones led their respective cavalries, each merging to a single charging column, all of the men yelling, and met at full gallop. I had never seen such a thing. Somewhere in the chaos of battle, Orgones was shot and unhorsed and killed. 
They say the coward Almagro retreated from the battlefield atop an ass. Fitting. Excerpt from Alonzo Luisa's journal. Got everything I need. Should head back to camp. That should be sharp enough. Something still holding the supplies up. Ah, there's a second rope tethering them. Yes! Now I can get my gear back. <sighs> Why didn't I pack all my equipment together? Miguel? Where are you? Damn! Miguel? I don't like this. Miguel? Where are you? Oh no. <sighs> Miguel? Miguel? Come on, man. Oh, shit. That is such a beautiful animal. But great. Now we gotta kill it. That looks badass. Oh shit. Great. Holy shit. Okay. <clears throat> Oh, jeez. Oh, what the hell? Oh, damn it. Okay, so that's when it pounces. Why do I have this stupid freaking... I've got some kind of stupid... Uh, aim assist on, and it's so annoying. Are you serious? Nice. But there's two of them. God, that thing's huge. Beautiful animal. 
Now, now you remember there's another one. The hell? Why is it backing off? What the fuck? Why did it not kill us? I'm so like, I'm so confused. Why did it not attack us? And was it literally just sitting there waiting for us to run out of arrows? I mean, seriously? That's part of the wreckage. Jonah! That's like the Asin. That's the one that Jonah would have been in. Ooh, page from Jack Fawcett's Expedition Journal. Father's outward enthusiasm is at an all-time high, though I have doubts. In the middle of the night, I have caught the whites of his eyes reflecting moonlight, his stare vacantly locked to the stars. Were it not for all the stories he has shared of the Amazon in the past, I would mistake his gaze as regretful, even mournful. Perhaps it is simply these insects making their way through our head nets causing him such consternation. The plane! Jonah, are you there? I got you killed. Hey, do you know what happened to Miguel? He didn't make it. <sighs> What's wrong with your arm? Ah, some sort of parasite. I was looking for some wormwood, but it doesn't grow around here. Let me see. <laughs> what are you doing? If we leave it in there, it'll only get worse. Sit. Sure, you know what you're doing. Uh, <laughs> I had something similar happen to me when I was a child in Egypt. I won't lie, it's gonna hurt. You think that storm from earlier was the storm? The one from the mural? I don't know. <sighs> uh, I think maybe we should stop and take stock. We've been pushing so hard forward. <laughs> Flying into that storm. I didn't think it was going to be that bad. I... Well, I should have insisted we turn back. I mean, I get it. You lock onto a problem and everything else just disappears. <laughs> Jonah? I... Hey. I'm with you. It's my choice. Most of the time. But if we die, who stops the cataclysms? Who keeps Trinity from doing what they want? I swear, after the end of this, if he doesn't get the girl, I'm going to be so pissed. Sometimes I feel like I have to keep going, and if I don't, then I'll just let everyone down. But maybe for the sake of a few hours, we could have turned back. <laughs> Maybe we should give him a name. Okay. Eli? Yeah, my cousin. He's always trying to get under my skin. <laughs> Goodbye, Eli. Ew. Thanks. We should go. If we can find Kowakyaku, we can rest for the night. 
Sounds good. Oh, is he just following me? I think we can see the village through the vines over there. I'm glad you stayed at the crash site. Well, if you were out there, I wanted you to be able to find me. I had a flare gun, so... Yeah, I think Miguel was heading toward it when... Poor guy. Where is the... Oh, okay, okay. How'd you manage to get Eli in your arm anyway? Uh, I was trying to figure out if the water was clean. Got my answer. <laughs> All right, boys. Do give me a second. Really believe in all that, that stuff you said about the cataclysms, the apocalypse. I believe that if it is true, it's important enough to die for, or for Trinity to kill for. So this is really about revenge. No, no. I. When I took the key, I also felt a power pulling me towards something. It's real. Screw it. If you felt a power pulling you when you took the key. Is it in your head now? No. It left me when Dominguez took the key. We can get through here. Give me a hand. Yeah. Yeah. You see that? It must be Kwak Yaku. We have to get down there. Alrighty, John, let's go, boy. You sure this is a path? Come on. Oh, we're about to make it a path. This is definitely not a path. What? Why can't I move? <sighs> oh. 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 Come, come on, John. Almost there. Almost there. Heard that before. Oh, gosh. You're right. I'm okay. Just a couple more steps. Okay. Okay. Oh, You're oh right. this poor man. I, I, I'm okay. I'm okay. She puts him to the ringer every time. What is this? What do you think built all this? It could have been the Inca. They knew a lot about hydraulics. I hope this Seems like it. Bridge is down. Maybe we could lift it with those counterweights. Maybe. This depicts the Incan god Kong. He was the son of Inti, the sun god, and Pachamama, the moon goddess. Kong was in charge of the wind and the rain. Although, in some legends, he was only in charge of the weather that came from the south while his brother, Pachacamac, was in charge of weather that came from the north. Just have a proficient quick monoliths. Nice. I bet this water is drinkable. <laughs> you want to try it? Uh, I think I'll stick to the bottles you found in the cargo from the plane. What? Cinnabar was used in the ancient past for producing a bright orange pigmentation on ceramics, murals, tattoos, and in religious ceremonies. Nice. You know, if I had known how much time I'd spend in the wilderness, I'd, I'd have paid more attention in Boy Scouts. <laughs> that wasn't your thing? Well, my family situation meant we didn't get to do a lot of stuff like that. What about you? Ever do Girl Scouts or nature camp as a kid? The canopa serves as a receptacle for offerings of cocoa and animal tallow. The stuffed canopa is thrown into the farmer's field at the start of the harvest season as a gift for Pachamama, the mother god. It is said, if the present is accepted, the farmer will yield large crops in a successful breeding season. Mm, does boarding school count? <laughs> I don't know. Does it? <laughs> Probably not. But Roth showed me some things. I always prefer the company of adults anyway. Yeah. I'll miss that guy. Oh, that's not enough. I still need I still need to learn more. Okay. With Eli gone, your arm should heal quickly. Yeah. I feel a lot better already. Hey! 
That did something. I think the water powers the bridge somehow. Need to get the water flowing to the bucket. It's too heavy. Give me a hand. Nice. The water's filling the bucket. Good. Let's see what those counterweights do. Ugh, the bucket's leaking. There we go, I think I got it. You can let go. That's it. Let's get across. Jeez. That took me entirely way too long to figure out, boys. Okay. Guess we go through here. After you. What's that? I think it's some sort of stealer or... Help me with this. Sure. What is it? It's a recipe. Seems to be a mixture of herbs. It could help if we run into any more jaguars. <laughs> Let's hope we don't. Way out is over here. Uh huh? I have the eagle. Or to use a perception herbal mixture. Perception allows large to sense animals and nature, natural resources throughout the environment. Oh, cool. Okay. These are different from the ruins in Mexico. Do your dad's notebooks say anything about Peru? No. I mean, there is supposed to be a secret city of gold in Peru. Paititi. Every treasure hunter on Earth is looking for it. But dad's notes stop in Mexico. Like he lost interest or... Or... I don't know. The next volume picks up in Syria. The passageway. That's promising. Remind me how the riddle goes again. Chase the heart of the serpent. To the silver-crowned mountain where the twins confer. Hmm. How far do you think it is to Kwak Yaku? Assuming we're going the right way, um... Hard to say, but the irrigation system is a good sign. Right. People were here at some point. Let's just... You find anything? Roots and ruins. Ready to head out then? Let's go. Alrighty, boys. We've explored quite a bit. We've learned a lot. We've got Jonah back with us. We're almost to the town. I'm going to go to end it right here for tonight. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Bye.